Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Minzy. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos because here we talk about all things fragrances. All right guys, I have a very exciting video for you today. And as you know, we are proceeding to Valentine's Day so what could be more exciting to do a video about date night fragrances, right? So if you haven't decided what to wear this Valentine's, maybe my video will help you to make a decision. But please keep in mind that these fragrances you can wear any time of the year for any date night. Uh, doesn't have to be on Valentine's Day, of course. And guys, please keep in mind that we don't need a special holidays. We don't need a specific special day to treat yourself. Even if you don't have a significant other, girls or guys, <laughs> take yourself out. Take yourself out, treat yourself, and celebrate the love you have for yourself. Anyway, I'm not gonna give you guys for long. I will stop rambling and jump right in this video today. I have about 10 different fragrances for recommendations and I will start with the more affordable and designer fragrances first before going into niche fragrances. So the first fragrance I want to recommend you guys today is a creation from Jean-Paul Gaultier and it was launched last year 2022 and it is Scandale La Parfum and this is how the bottle looks. It is very, very beautiful and I honestly, I love every single bottle in this line. I always want to have a Scandal fragrance in my collections, but I I was hesitated because I don't know which one I would like to add in my collections. It is not available in the department store for me to try out. So honestly, I have to blind buy and I decided to blind buy this one. First of all, because I want this bottle. I love this red, beautiful, fiery bottle right here. But another reason I want to add this fragrance in my collections is because I heard Mila LeBlanc. She talked about this fragrance and she raved about this. She said it is one of the most sexiest, beautiful white floral fragrance and as a white floral fan, I cannot not have a gorgeous white floral fragrance in my collection, right? So that's why I, you know, I bite the bullet and got this one blind buy completely. And when I got it, I fall in love with it right away. And the way I would describe this fragrance is it is a jasmine with caramel type of fragrance. So this is a white floral, sweet white floral fragrance without going into gourmand direction. So it is a sweet fragrance, but it's not like a gourmand dessert type of smell. It still have that beautiful creamy white floral from the jasmine with the caramel. And to me, the combinations of the jasmine and the caramel make this fragrance smell so gorgeous, mouth watering, delicious without, you know, without smelling like food. And I feel like for sure, if you wear this fragrance, your partner get the idea right away. Um, I would recommend you guys wear this fragrance on a third or fourth date where you're already sure that you want to continue with this um, with this relationship because when you wear this for sure you will show him that you give him the green light because it's very very sexy and i imagine wearing a red dress or a red lipstick on a date night to wear this fragrance seriously i want to wear red lipstick or red a red dress to match with this with the color of this bottle and how this fragrance make me feel yes guys if you haven't tried this 
try this out. I don't smell anything honey in here to be honest. Even though this line is famous for um, the honey note to me, what I get the most is again just jasmine and caramel and I think this combination really beautiful and right up my alley. It, it's not something like groundbreaking. It doesn't break any new ground. But still, it is a indeed a beautiful smelling fragrance and I feel like it is very sexy and just fit right in the date night category. Um, so yeah, we have Scandal Le Parfum from Jean-Paul Gaultier. All right, the next fragrance I want to talk about is Dior Addict and this is the other parfum. This is the very OG um, from Dior line. And this one is the newer formulations, but to be honest, I think it is so gorgeous. Talking about date night, we cannot not talk about Dior Addict. This is one of the most beautiful OG designer fragrance. To me, what I get the most from this one is orange blossom and vanilla. Even though there are also other white floral notes in here, to me, what I get the most is that orange blossom and the vanilla. And you know how I feel about vanilla with white floral as a combination. To me, this is one of the most sexy, alluring, attractive combination ever. You can never go wrong with this one. To me, this one is sweet, but it doesn't, again, it doesn't go into gourmand directions. And the white floral, the orange blossom, keep this fragrance smelling very elegant and classy and opulent at the same time. Um, this though smell a little grown in my opinion. I don't see anyone that is under 30 would be interested in this one. Um, I could be wrong. You could be um, younger than 30 and still interested in this one. For me, when I was younger, I was not um, drawn into this one at all because at the time to me, it was a little bit too much work for my taste. And now this is just absolutely perfect for me. Um, I love that grown woman sexy vibe from this fragrance. And guys, what could be more sexy than an independent woman, right? I feel like man's love a very independent woman, a very independent and confident woman. And that is exactly the vibe that I get from Dior Addict. So if you haven't checked this out, please do yourself a favor. You can smell this one at the department store. They have it out to try at the department store, I believe. I got this straight on the website because I like all of that, you know, extravagant sample and the box. It's just, I love that luxury service from Dior. That's why I got it from the website, but you can also get it from department store and you can try it out before you buy. But yeah, we have Dior Addict. All right, the next fragrance that I'm going to talk about, I feel like if you have been on my channel for a while, you would know I have to mention this fragrance. It is Tom Ford Noir Parfum. And guys, and this is how the bottle looks. To me, this is one of the most beautiful bottle ever and I got this one for a 50 ml and I know this one is discontinued but I think you still can find it on some of the discounter websites so if you haven't get a chance to got to get a bottle of this go ahead and get a bottle of this because to me this is one of the best creation from Tom Ford and the price is not even that bad um, uh, to be honest with you guys, I bought the Noir Extreme Le Parfum, the newest one from this line, and I actually already returned it because even though I love that fragrance, I feel like I already have the Tom Ford Noir Parfum and I want to finish this bottle first before getting the other one. But if you cannot get your hands on this Noir Extreme, 
um, Eau de Parfum or Nar Extreme um, Le Parfum is still good. You know, like they are, even though they are like different fragrances, they have the same DNA. They are a flanker. They are the flankers to this line. They all smell very, very sexy, dark and mysterious. And again, this one exudes that confident, independent woman vibe that I love to wear on a date night. This one, to me, Noir Parfum is the ultimate femme fatale fragrance. This is the kind of fragrance makes me fall in love with Tom Ford from the first blades. And you know, when I was younger, I was not interested in this fragrance, but now I'm all about it. It is the most beautiful gourmand fragrance without smelling like food. It is sweet and it's half that kofi notes in here, which is a kind of dessert. It smell like kofi but still have that sexy, attractive, alluring, intoxicating vibe in here. Again, to me, this is the most, one of the most beautiful, sexy, femme fatale fragrance that you need to check it out. And again, if you cannot get your hands on this one, Noir Extreme Eau de Parfum and Noir Extreme Le Parfum would work perfectly. So yeah, we have Tom Ford Noir Parfum. All right guys, let's move on to the next recommendation. It is Must Noir Rose from Narciso Rodriguez. And this is how the bottle looks. Very simple, but sleek. I love the look of this bottle. To me, this is one of the most beautiful bottle in my collections. I just love how simple and sleek it is and still very elegant and classy. Um, and this one to me has a more kind of clean girl aesthetic, including the scents and how this bottle looks. As you can tell, I am not a clean girl aesthetic kind of girl. But when it comes to decoration in the house, I love to keep it simple. I like to keep it clean. So yeah, when it comes to decorations in the house, I would go to with the um, clean girl aesthetic look. But let's talk about this fragrance. So this is a beautiful, musky, rose, tuberose, clean fragrance. To me, this fragrance exudes femininity and effortless beauty. This is a pretty girl type of fragrance. Um, to me, when a girl wear this, I feel like she just naturally have that aura. She's just naturally very, very pretty. Even when she doesn't really try too hard or try to dress up, she still have that beautiful aura around her. And I, I think this very sexy in the most elegant way. It doesn't shall like I am trying too hard to impress you. Um, to me, this would fit perfectly for the first date um, when you just get to know the person. You can definitely wear this fragrance. You will smell absolutely gorgeous without trying too hard, without overwhelming the other person. Um, to me, again, this is a not try too hard type of fragrance. It is not in your face the way that it projects and the way it smells, it's just elegant, beautiful. Um, and if you don't know, um, this is a, again, this is the clean, musky, rosy, um, two rose fragrance. It has a little bit of sweetness in here, but not too much. It's just as a little bit, like a touch of sweetness in here to bring everything together. Um, and I feel like I get a little bit of the laundry detergent vibe from this fragrance, but again, it doesn't go too much into that direction. It's just like, give me that clean vibe, if that makes sense. So yeah, guys, I absolutely love this fragrance. I usually don't really gravitate toward this kind of, this style of fragrance, but with this one, I definitely, I am just, 
absolutely fallen in love with this fragrance and I know that recently for the last couple months this one become very famous especially on TikTok and I think for really really good reasons and even though everybody else already talked about this fragrance I, I still want to mention it especially for date night I think it is just a perfect fragrance to wear 10 out of 10 um, when it comes to scent um, projections is very soft beautiful but present it doesn't last like the longest but, but for this type of fragrance I think it has a very very good longevity but yeah that is Musk Rose Noir from Narciso Rodriguez so the next fragrance I'm gonna talk about it's not a designer fragrance um, but it's still very very affordable and this one is cherry syrup from Brat Parfum and this is how the bottle look and I already talked about this fragrance before in my haul and I want to mention it again because I think this is also a very beautiful fragrance for date night and if you don't know Brat Parfum is a Thai is a Thai brand and not a lot of people talk about this fragrance because it is not officially distributed uh, in the US however you can still buy this fragrance in the US you can contact the brand directly and they will direct you to my friend Gon the one who gave me this bottle to buy this perfume um, and honestly, this is one of the first fragrance I tried from this brand and I just absolutely fell in love with the brand. I have tried a couple more and I will have a dedicated video to talk about these Thai brand because to me they are absolutely amazing and not a lot of people talk about them yet. But talking about cherry syrup, if you love Lost Cherry and if you love Baccarat Rouge 540, you have to try this out. This is the best of both worlds. Yes, the best way to describe this fragrance is the best combinations of Lost Cherry from Tom Ford and Baccarat Rouge 540. The cherry in here is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. It's perfectly ripe. It has that juiciness. It has that brightness it's sweet it's you know it smell yummy and it have that beautiful sweet airiness um, DNA from Baccarat Rouge 540 <sighs> I just absolutely love this fragrance it's it smell to me it smell very beautiful and youthful and I feel like if you wear this on your date your partner will not be able to you know keep it to himself he will want to be all over you because this is smell absolutely delectable delectable it smells yummy but in the most elegant refined way if that makes sense so yeah we have cherry syrup from broad parfum all right guys now we officially move into the niche and more high-end recommendations the first one i want to talk about from a niche brand and it is fragrance dubois and the fragrance i want to talk about is Manuia de me and guys of course i have to talk about this fragrance how can i not talk about Manuia de me um to me this is the most perfect scent for date night um, and also this is one of the most versatile fragrance for date night in my opinion this is just beautiful alluring intoxicating and the scent bubble from this fragrance is just incredible and if you don't know this is a beautiful spicy gourmand caramel cardamom vanilla coffee fragrance <sighs> i feel like you can wear this fragrance for a date for a date when you go out like when you dress up and you go out to a fancy dinner you can wear this fragrance but it's also very beautiful for a chill out you know relaxing date night at home you don't have to wear this just to go out you can definitely 
wear it just to get cozy and relax with your partner. The reason why I say this is because the way that this fragrance projects is very beautiful in my opinion. The scent bubble of this fragrance is just perfect for intimate encounter. It is a very present fragrance. It is not loud, it is not in your face, but it is present. People around you would definitely smell you and when your partner get close to you, he, would, he or she would not get overwhelmed by this fragrance. In fact, I feel like they would drawn into you because how good you will smell when wearing Minuya to me. It's just so refined, so delectable, sexy in a very elegant way. And I feel like he or she will not be able to get enough of you when you wear this fragrance. Trust me on this, Minuya to me is a perfect scent for date night. So yeah, we have Fragrance de Bois, Minuya to me. Okay guys, this fragrance I just got uh, not long ago, but I already absolutely in love with it. And I did not regret getting this fragrance in my collection. I smell it in summer, during summer, and I've been waiting for the sales. I've been waiting for the weather to, to get colder to buy this fragrance, but it is French Letter from Memo Paris. And this is how the bottle looks. Very simple and elegant. And the scent itself is just also extremely elegant and opulent, I would say. And uh, this is a rose fragrance, rose and leather fragrance. And how can I talk about date night fragrance and not mention a rose fragrance, right? I have to mention a rose fragrance and this is not your typical rose fragrance. It's rose, it is leather. The rose in here is absolutely gorgeous imagine you have this beautiful big a little bit overripe dark red rose and you pull out the petal and you pull out the stem the leaf and smash them all together to get the most concentrated rose water and an add letter in there this is what this fragrance smell like to me so the rose is still half that beautiful brightness uplifting watery dewy effect but also it has that darkness coming from the letter it is beautiful and edgy at the same time and what i would say is this smell absolutely opulent i cannot get enough i cannot get enough of this beauty guy i i've been wearing this you cannot tell um, because this is also a very potent fragrance. You don't need to spray a lot. But guys, I've been wearing this fragrance and I cannot get enough of this fragrance. <sighs> I, I would definitely wear this one for a date night. Um, it is beautiful, it's dark, it's mysterious. And I feel like that is just perfect for date night. Like your partner, would be drawn into you they get curious about you you have that beautiful mysterious uh, and sexy aura and they just cannot get their eyes off you because how because of how you look and because of of course how you smell so we have french letter from memo paris all right guys talking about rose another fragrance another rose fragrance that i want to recommend you guys is Peregrina from Tamim. And this is how the bottle looks. I already talked about this fragrance and guys, this is the perfect fragrance for date night. So if you love Oud Bouquet from Lancome or Shagap Oud from uh, Switch, is that Switch Arabian? I think it's Switch Arabian. If you love those fragrances, I feel like you would like 
you would also love this fragrance also and to me this is a much more refined arabian middle eastern rose fragrance this has rose this has saffron this has caramel so this is a sweet gourmand rose without getting too sweet and too overwhelming it doesn't smell like food but it does have that beautiful sweetness from from the caramel and the natural sweetness from the rose together they just create this most beautiful elegant you know rose sweet rose fragrance and it has that middle eastern vibe in here even though there is no oud i think the combinations of everything with the saffron just create that oudy vibe in here and to if you're afraid of oud please don't be afraid with this fragrance because the oudy vibe in here is very subtle is very refined this is a more to me a more western eye oudy vibe to me this smell very opulent very refined and elegant and still have that attractiveness have that alluring effect to it that will draw your partner whoever smell it into you this fragrance also to me exude femininity even though i feel like both men and women can wear this when the woman wear this fragrance she will exude more on the femininity side of it and i just absolutely in love with this fragrance the bottle is also very gorgeous i don't hear a lot of people talk about tamin yet and i think this deserves more attention this just to me absolutely beautiful and opulent and also it's not it's not the most you know unique fragrance but compared to other fragrances in the same category i feel like tamin peregrina beat them all in my opinion so yeah check this one out for date night fragrance after talking so much about rose fragrances i cannot not mention about a white floral fragrance for date night to me white floral always have that beautiful carnal vibe that you would want to wear on a date night and that fragrance and the fragrance i want to talk about is french flower from matia premiere and i already dedicate a full in-depth review for this fragrance and you know I absolutely love this fragrance. This is one of the fragrances make me fall in love with the full house of Matia Premier and fall in love with the perfumer. But yeah, I just love this fragrance so much and I love his style. I love the house of Matia Premier. To me, this scream my name. This is myself in a bottle. And if you don't know, this is a straightforward tuberose through and through fragrance so you have to you have to like white floral to love this fragrance but to me i feel like this is a very easy to love kind of white floral fragrance the focus of this fragrance though is on the tuberose the tuberose in here is very multifaceted tuberose so you have that little spiciness you get that greenness from the leaf, the stem, and you also get the creaminess and the sweetness from the floral itself. And to me, this is, in my opinion, the most carnal white floral that I have ever put my nose on. And I feel like if you wear this fragrance, you know for sure you're gonna get down dirty that night. And I'm not saying this to say that this fragrance is Volga. No, this fragrance is nothing, is nowhere near Volga. It just exudes that sexiness, that carnal vibe in the most um, sophisticated, delicate way. I feel like if you wear this fragrance on your date night, the guy will not be able to keep their hands, or the girl, the guy or the girl will not be able to keep their hands off you 
there will be so much tension between you guys if you wear this fragrance. Even when I smell this, I feel so sexy myself. I feel so attractive when I wear this fragrance. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot stress, I cannot talk about this fragrance enough. This is, to me, my most favorite tuberose in my collection. And I will never live without this fragrance. And I feel like this fragrance you can wear, you can also wear year round, but for date night, this fragrance is a killer. I guarantee you, this is a killer fragrance for date night. Oh my God, it's just so intoxicating. So intoxicating, guys. So yeah, we have French Flower from Matière Premier. All right, the last fragrance we're gonna talk about today is from Initio Parfum, and it is Absolute Aphrodisiac. And <laughs> of course, we cannot not talk about a vanilla fragrance for date night, correct? We have to talk about a vanilla fragrance because we all know, we all know that vanilla is one of the most the sexiest notes for date nights like who doesn't love vanilla i think majority of us love vanilla it's like aphrodisiac kind of smell kind of scent and <laughs> as you can tell the name absolute aphrodisiac what else i can say it smells extremely sexy it is dark it is mysterious it is sweet it has this beautiful deep dark mysterious vanilla it has leather in here and it's have that you know a little bit a touch of animalic and don't be afraid of that animalic note in here it's come from the civet but to me it's what makes this fragrance so interesting like it smells intoxicating and, in and interesting. And to be honest with you guys, the first time when I smell this fragrance, I don't get that leather and that animalic touch in here. But this year, I think my, my nose is more mature now. I can definitely smell that leather and that animalic touch. But again, it is not overwhelming. It is not dirty it just crave this beautiful deep dark mysterious vibes to this fragrance it's, and it makes this fragrance so much more interesting and it will draw your partner in because they would want to smell you when they want to figure it out what it is that you smell so intoxicating so attractive so sexy and that is exactly what we want for a date night am i correct and no matter how long you've been with your partner you still want to keep that spark you still want to keep a little bit of that mysterious side of you to you know to surprise them to make them fall in love with you all over again and this fragrance is just perfect for that mm, this smells so freaking good so yeah, we have Initio Absolute Aphrodisiac. All right guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you wear for your date night, what you're gonna do for Valentine's Day, if have you plan out what you guys gonna do. Um, for me, I don't know yet. I hope that I will be surprised. I'm already engaged to my significant other. So I'm excited to see what we're gonna do this Valentine's Day. But yeah guys, I again, I really hope you guys will have a great time even with your partners or just hang out with your girlfriends or just relax in your home. I hope you guys will have a good time. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.